Hi, good morning. I just wanted to do a quick review on the St. Benedict Press Holy Bible, the Dewey Rooms version. Okay, so I'll show you the back and the ISBN. Oops, sorry, that's not working out too well. Okay, so we'll just go through a quick flip through. Uh, it is a sewn binding. I've ha had some other people say that it wasn't, but I have found that it is a sewn binding. So it's like a leather touch. Okay, and it's a paste down vinyl liner. You have your presentation page. And then the statue of St. Peter, Vatican City. Family register. And here just gives you information about the St. Benedict, uh, St. Benedict and his medal. Okay, births, marriages. Also a place for deaths. Okay, so it just shows you the preface of the 1899 edition, translated from the Latin Vulgate. Okay, and then the books of the Old and New Testament. Now you'll see how it says Canticles, Canticles of Canticles. So I'm coming from um, a Protestant background. I've uh, just become Catholic this year. So this would be different for me, the Canticle of Canticles, but it would be the Song of Solomon, or some people say Song of Songs. And then Chronicles here. But yeah, so just wanted to, if you're a Protestant and you're new to being a Catholic, some things I saw differently. There's also notes at the bottom of the Bible and a bit of an introduction. So now I will try to find you um, where it's sewn. And then it doesn't start on its own page, it starts halfway through the page. I believe this is, yeah, this is where you can see the stitchy. So it's not glued, it is stitched. The writing looks to be about an 8.5, maybe a 9. Let's go to the New Testament. It's also red letter. And the red's a little light, but I still like it. Okay. Oops. Okay, so it says the New Testament. And then you're starting um, again for the numbering of the pages. Okay, and I'll just flip through to some of the red letter so that you get an idea. And then we'll go to the back. So there's some cool prayers back here in the historical index. Okay, so I'm used to it being called Revelation and in the Dewey Rooms it is the apocalypse. Okay, so you get a historical and chronological index of the Old Testament. And then also the New Testament. A table of all the epistles and gospels. Sorry, my dog's whining in the background. All right, and then the beloved prayers. Just give you an idea. Sorry, my dog's whining. I'm gonna have to wrap this up and take her for a walk. Okay, the succession of the popes. All right, and then you have three white pages at the back, and then you also have some artwork. And 
and then some maps and as well you can see the um, sewn binding here as well so there's three maps or sorry four and then final paste down liner so yeah it's handy um, like it fits in your hand really well feels good and you also get a ribbon marker it's like a burgundy so yeah I'm very happy to know that it is um, sewn and if you're used to the King James Bible this um, would be an easy transition at least it was for me going from fundamental Baptist to KJV to this Bible so yeah uh, let me know your thoughts on the Dewey Reams and go check it out thank you have a good day